Welcome back, everyone, to my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. We last left off Oakley, uh, Ratty Hill, and had just completed the third step in the trading sequence. She traded some canned dog food for a bunch of bananas to sail the banana salesman. This is going to be necessary before we get to uh, Dungeon 3. Uh, much like the Dog Palace in A Link uh, to the Past, I'm going to need the help of some monkeys to um, get into uh, the third palace. But unlike uh, Kiki the monkey in A Link to the Past, who we need to give rubies to, the monkeys in this game will need to give some bananas to. So Here's a guardian acorn. It doubles our defense until we step into a building, cave, or dungeon. We'll be doing that shortly, so I didn't bother picking it up. But Now that we have a sword, we can head up north here, chop down this bush in this uh, upcoming screen, and head into the mysterious wood. Hoot ho, brave lad! On your quest to wake the dreamer. Welcome to the mysterious wood. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Corinth Island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the wind frish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The wind fish is watching. Alright, so we've got our little mini quest here. And uh, that's going to be uh, pretty uh, the standard operating uh, procedure, I guess, for this game. Uh, oh, here's a piece of power. It's the opposite of the Guardian Acorn, where the Guardian Acorn doubles our defensive power. The piece of power uh, doubles our offensive capabilities. And as you can see, when he hits something, it, they fly across the screen. So those moblins normally take two hits. Now they only take one. And hey, we got this friendly raccoon. Is it named Scooter? As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. That's a little clue. Scooter is a raccoon who visits the lady who runs the Marty Mouse House minions uh, page. So, unfortunately, that raccoon there is not nice like Scooter, and he teleported us to a different part of the woods, so we're gonna have to find a way to get past him somehow. And our piece of power has gone off because we've uh, taken a few hits, so. Both the acorn and the piece of power uh, will uh, stop uh, working if you take a few hits. So, Beware of floors with cracks. A heavy person should not stand on them. And that includes ratties. So, yep, see these little uh, floors? You can stand, you can uh, walk on them, but as long as you don't stay uh, for like a second on them, you'll be okay. So... Even though we can't pick up blocks, we can still push them, so... Get a few rupees there. There we go, see if you fall, uh, if you stand on a block for a long time, you fall down. And you lose uh, half a heart, and you end up uh, back at the um, entrance that you entered, so... Another guardian acorn, but we're gonna be leaving the cave here real quick, so... No, I'm speed it up, not having to pick up and see that message, so... And hey, we got a mushroom! And much like A Link to the Past, we'll be giving this mushroom to a witch, so... A mellow aroma from it flows into our nostrils. So let's head back through this cave. I've got to push the blocks a little differently this time. And then we're going to sneak out. So some of these uh, blob monsters, uh, when they get hit, they split into two smaller ones. But if you hit them with a charged sword swing, uh, you'll defeat them in one hit. So. And to the left of this screen is where we are, uh, where the scooter was, so. And here we have a little fairy spring. Uh, if, you ever visit a, uh, if you ever visit a fairy and you don't have full life, uh, the fairy will uh, refill your life, so. And uh, there's a few fairies on the overworld. A lot of times you'll find fairies in caves, though, so. That rock looks suspicious. We'll have to come back here where we can pick rocks up later. The little blobs, the little tiny ones won't damage you, but they will kind of uh, make things a little bit more difficult for you. They kind of just uh, limit your movement. So make it easier for the other enemies who can hurt you, uh, hit you. So here we have these uh, buzzy slimes that walk around. Once again, if you hit them, uh, you'll take damage. So. Double, double, toil and trouble. A toadstool mix makes powder for tricks. 
Well, now we just put our toadstool in one of our item slots. We use it. Ah, it has a sleepy toadstool, it does. We'll mix it up something in a jiffy, we will. And look, uh, she has a little rat. Oh, that's cute. It's all that it is. Take care, as there's not much there. Why not try a bit in my hut? You got some magic powder. Try sprinkling on a variety of things. So let's do what she says. If we throw it in like our uh, empty torch uh, bins, uh, the torch will light on fire. So we can also throw it on these guys to make them look all funky. But even if they look funky, they still damage us. So. But now we have powder. Remember what uh, Scooter said? Uh, she said uh, he said that uh, well, Scooter's a girl in in, in reality, but uh, in this game it's a uh, it's a he. We'll find out. But uh, he said that he has nose is uh, sensitive to things like powder. So now that we got some powder, we can uh, go back and throw some on Mr. Scooter. Hopefully it doesn't make him catch fire like it's been doing to the enemies. So, so just find, go up to Scooter, and before we head up to the top, because if we head, try to head through the top again, he'll uh, warp us. But we sprinkle some powder on Scooter, and he flies all around, and boom, it turn, turned into Talon. The last thing I can remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, it sounds strange, but it sure was fun. I'm all tuckered out. I think I better set a spell before I head home. He's gonna take a little nap there. Mm-hmm. Watch what you eat. And in this treasure chest, we have the tail key. Now we can open the entrance to the tail dungeon. We were told that's south of the village. Oh, here's Mr. Al again. Who? Take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. The windfish is waiting. Who? Alrighty. We were told there was that sign uh, outside the village that told us where uh, the tail cave was. We can also go into the library and get our garden acorn. We've got a little bit of a trek to get to the, the dungeon. And we won't be going in anywhere, so. Now, uh, we can also go to the library. And the library, the book that has the Atlas of Koalith, has uh, everywhere uh, listed. So it's like as if the entire map was uh, cleared by you. But, uh, uh, but, uh, you can look at it and try to find places, so, if you need to, so. But, just chop down some things here. We're gonna go to the shop. Well, nope. Trying to look for some bombs. We want to eventually get some bombs, so. We just have to do some backtracking then. If you can get, uh, somehow if you can get bombs, uh, before, uh, the second, the first dungeon, uh, you want to do some backtracking, so. Right. A crane game. And get some more powder here. Remember this thing. You wait until the whatever you want is uh, in the middle there on the right. Hit the A button down just for one tap, and then you'll get some rupees. Woohoo! Each time we get one of these rupees, we get uh, 30 rupees. So, and as you say, we can play the game three more times with this. So, we can make a 40 rupee profit. Uh, if you have your timing right, so because you play, uh, pay 20 rupees to play the game twice, and you win 60 rupees total. So let's uh, win some more rupees here. We can get these rupees, drop them down. Donk, 30 rupees. All right, now we have 170. So. Uh, Let's just uh, do it again. We can reset uh, the uh, game by stepping outside. We can win some rupees again. We want to get the 200 rupees so we can get that shovel. I think when we get the shovel, that'll uh, change the inventory in the shop and should be able to buy the bombs then. So Hit the A button slightly. Like I said, when it gets in the middle, and it almost looks like we're not going to grab it, but it works. So, and that one more, uh, one more time will put us at uh, 
to uh, 205, and that'll be enough to buy that shovel. Let's get this over here. 215. I took uh, 20 off instead of uh, 10 for the for the game. Shovel will actually be able to keep in this game, uh, unlike in uh, uh, A Link to the Past, where you basically only use the shovel for that real quick time to get the flute, so. But. And like the trading game we did earlier, you need a shovel before you can get into uh, Dungeon 3, so we're gonna have to eventually buy that shovel anyway, so. It's good that we're just getting it out of the way right here now. We're gonna get. try to find. Uh, Cut some grass here to get, uh, we want to get two more rupees. We want 220 rupees. So, sometimes the grass has rupees, but it seems like you get more rupees, uh, under the bushes, so. Mm-hmm. I wonder how the economy works. I mean, rupees just keep respawning, so. All right, let's buy us that shovel. A deluxe shovel, 200 rupees. Seems expensive. Expensive, but we need it, so. Thanks, and come back. So, let's come back. And, hey, look, we now we can buy some bombs. I'm gonna have to save up a lot of money for that bow and arrow, so. We'll need the bow and arrow by Dungeon 5, so. But now we got bombs, so we wanna have to do a little bit of backtracking. Uh, there's a room that we can't get to. Oakley, Tan's taking a nap at home. I don't know how he can sleep on such a nice day. It makes me wanna sing a song. Yes, the song is Ballad of the Windfish. Mm -hmm. hmm, looks like, I guess Tan made it home. But he's not in his house, huh? I don't know how she said he was home, but he's not home. But yeah, now there, there's going to be some rooms in the uh, in the dungeon that uh, we couldn't get into without bombs. Now we got the shovel. We can head into this uh, area here, and we can dig up secret seashell number two. If we find a lot of them, something good is bound to happen. And you can dig up uh, around the, the ground, and sometimes you get hearts, sometimes you get rupees. So, now we just head around this way. We're gonna cross that, uh, go around to get around that pit. We're gonna find an item in the tail cave here that'll allow us to cross pits. An interesting item. Uh, first time I played the game, I thought, oh, we'll probably get a step ladder like how we did in uh, the Legend of Zelda, the initial Legend of Zelda, but. We get a different item instead. We'll see that when we head into this dungeon here. The first dungeon of the game, the Tail Cave. It's a small little dungeon. Knock these guys, who are invincible otherwise, into the pit, and we get our first small key. We charge up a shot there, we can uh, knock out all those guys in one hit. And now we get the compass that shows where the nightmare is hidden, and it can also show where uh, keys are. So if you enter a room uh, that has a key in it, your a tone will play. And that lets you know that, hey, there's a key in here, and uh, you know, might have to do something. So and that might be uh, defeating all the enemies or pushing a switch. So we can go either left or right in from that room. I'm just going to head to the left here just to clear this room. We're going to end up in the room to the north there in a little bit, so... We're just going to clear this room out. We're going to get full map completion here. Poke that guy into the pit. Hit the button. And we get another small key. Now we can head on to this room. Now that door up to the top there, it's a one-way door. Uh, when we go through it, it's going to flip. Um, around so we can't uh, go back the other way, but we can, like I said, go one way, so. And now we can use our key and we're gonna head and find these really annoying enemies here, these card enemies. You kinda almost wanna try to uh, get all three of them at the same, uh, in the same area and then hit them all with one sword swing. If you do that, you can get them all, otherwise you're gonna have to worry about timing. Uh, but they all, all their, all their um, suits have to match in order for them to be defeated. Uh, if they don't all match, then they just reset, so. And then usually it's best to maybe just leave the room and try again, so. You want to try to get maybe at least two of them, uh, so that two of them will always be the same suit. Uh, and then you just have to time for the third one, so. You see that crack over there to the left? 
Uh, well, we uh, wouldn't have been able to get into this room if we didn't have bombs. But since we got bombs earlier, we can now uh, go into that room. And inside this room, we will find secret seashell number three. Just collect a lot of them. Something good is bound to happen. So. You just summon that trap there. You can also push the block up to block the trap, but it's easy just to, you know, summon it to, from the bottom, and then uh, when it's resetting its position, you can sneak past it, so. Ooh, got that little blob on us. So now we have to push this block to complete the pattern. And we come over here. Now, we got a little bit of a clue earlier from the thing, but I didn't read it off. We'll get the same clue here. But it basically tells us to uh, turn aside the spine ones with the shield. And basically, we press the A button or the bu whatever button is assigned to our shield. And those uh, spiny enemies will run into them, flip over, and then we can uh, uh, attack them on their soft underbelly. And I see those, flood those hearts there. They're floating. Uh, they're floating up there. So now we've got the Rock's Feather. It feels like your body is a lot lighter. The Rock's Feather allows you to jump. So now those uh, hearts that were floating off the ground there, you can actually uh, jump up and get them. And hey, we got Goombas from Mario Brothers. And the interesting thing about Goombas is whenever you jump on them, if you jump on them, they will always drop a heart. So... We can use our rocks feather to take some shortcuts, jump over some of these holes. Oh, we fell in a hole. Dope. But, let's see. Got another worm here, knocked him in the hole. Now that we have the rocks feather, we can head up to the, uh, through the top. Up here, this top, uh, little alleyway. Because there's gonna be a pit that we couldn't cross earlier. Now that we have the rocks feather, we can cross that pit, use the key, and in uh, A Link to the Past we had small keys and then we had the big key. In uh, A Link's Awakening here we have the nightmare key, and it basically functions like the big key in that uh, you need it to uh, open the door to the boss. There are no big treasure chests in, in this game, so you don't need the nightmare key to open like a big treasure chest. Uh, regular treasure chests are all that you got in this game, so... And you don't need keys to open them. You only need keys to open doors or blocks. And here's a mini boss. Every dungeon in this game is going to have a mini boss. And uh, usually you have to use the item uh, that you get in the uh, dungeon to beat the boss. So for instance, you've got to use the rock feather to jump over that rock, that uh, uh, spiked roller that uh, that guy was tossing at us. And uh, then we can jump over. And when you defeat the mini boss, they always leave a portal behind. And the portal will take you back to the beginning of the dungeon. So, we got the mold worm boss here. We just gotta hit him in his tail. Hit him a few times. And then he's defeated. And we get the heart container. If we get knocked down for some reason in during the fight, before we collect the heart container, we just end up in this room. We just gotta climb our way back up, and then the boss's health resets, and we get out of these stairs here, so. But here's the tail cave. As you can see, we've completed the entire dungeon, gotten all the chests, and now we can get the first instrument of the siren. You got the full moon cello. And they play a little bit of a tune. And eventually, all those, uh, little uh, beats of that tune will make an entire song and then we'll have to play that song eventually to wake the wind fish swamp a path opens in the blooms that's our clue for where we're gonna have to head to next time in the swamps take care have a good one hope to see you there bye